Hi guys, today we're gonna do my makeup routine. I get so many questions on how I do my like everyday makeup, so I'm gonna show you guys. And I'm breaking out a lot, as you can see. I really wasn't gonna make this video because I wanted my skin to be perfect for when I do my makeup, but then I was thinking, you know, it's not really realistic because I'm not gonna have perfect skin all the time and some days I have acne, some days I don't. Today I do, we're just gonna deal with it. So let's just get into it. All right, so first we're gonna start off with the base. And because I'm breaking out, I like to use this primer, this Euphoria pregame primer. And this is really good for when I'm breaking out. It kind of helps form a protective barrier between my makeup and my skin. Next, I go in with this Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation. So I'll put like a little bit. I like to use my fingers. I will dab underneath my eyes here. And then I'll go in around the redness of my cheeks. Cover up this acne up here. This foundation is really that girl. I've been loving it so much. Guys, I just realized I don't have a little drinky. So let me go get an iced coffee. I'll be right back. Okay, I got my drink. Mm. This is a honey pecan. My hands are wet. Oh my God. A honey pecan praline latte. I went to a coffee shop yesterday and I didn't finish my coffee. So I just brought it home, stuck it in the fridge and I'm drinking it today over ice in my Chamberlain coffee cup. Beautiful. Now we can get on with the rest of the makeup. Okay, so next. Okay, next I go in with my Morphe 2 Hide and Peak Concealer. I love this guy. It's in the shade Peak of Sand. I go in on my under eyes, my chin area. I think I should get a lighter color because I'm getting paler from the winter time. But yeah, um, I'm just blending it all out. I love using my fingers for everything because I have dry skin. And every time I use a brush, I feel like my skin just starts flaking off and there's streaks of makeup. So now that we have the base down, I like to go in with blush. So I use two blushes. Let me show you. I first go in with the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Blush in Love. And then I'll go in with my like 13 million year old blush from Sephora. Literally discontinued. It's disgusting. It's so old. The color's in orange pop. I don't think you can get this anywhere. So I don't know what I'm going to do when this guy is finished. I haven't hit pan yet, which is like super surprising. I have a feel like that time is coming. And when I do run out of this blush, I'm literally Really gonna kick and scream. Anyway, let's go in with the Rare Beauty. I just do a little dot on the apples of my cheeks here, like that, and blend out with my fingers. So now that we look all nice and sunburnt, we're gonna go in with the contour. And you might be thinking like, oh, Julia, like you didn't even use the second blush yet. Yeah, because it's a powder blush. We're gonna use this later. So just be patient, girly. Where is my... Oh, what? Okay. Next, we're gonna go in with my Fenty Matchsticks in Mocha. I just put a little bit right here and here, just to like in the cheeks a little bit. And then I go in on my nose, go like the tiniest bit here. I make like a little V here at the bottom and then round up the top. Now let's blend. Yeah. Play. Beautiful. Okay, now that we're done with all of the creams, let's go in with the powders. So we're gonna go in with my Too Faced... Ugh! Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I got this from TJ Maxx like so long ago and I got it because it's like on sale, but I actually really like it now. But anyway, so I'm gonna take a brush, just kind of like stamp it here. Yep, 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 yep. Beautiful. And then we're gonna take a little eyeshadow brush. Just go over the contour in the same shape that I did before. Now that we're done with the contour. Whew. Next, we're gonna go in with a little bit of powder. I'm gonna go in with my Huda Beauty Easy Bake in Banana Bread. We love her. She is my favorite powder ever. It just makes me look so airbrushed. It's crazy. I just go in and tap in here. I'm gonna tap off the excess on my hand and then I'm gonna press it 
right under my cheekbones, and then I just top under my under eyes. After I do the rest of my face, this powder that was underneath my cheek, I just kind of top her in. But yeah, so now all the powder is done. The skin looks amazing. She looks airbrushed. Now we can finally revisit the blush. Go in with this hot, hot pink. And just on the apples of my cheeks right here, I tap her in. Tap, 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 tap. We're gonna go in with the new product that I've been using for a while now, the Easy Bake Press and Snatch. This is in Cherry Blossom, so it's like a pinky color. I will basically just tap this into my under eyes to transition my blush to my under eyes color, if that makes sense. Just get in there. It just makes the makeup look like it's makeup -y. And I think that looks so nice. Now I'm gonna do my brows and I'm gonna use the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil in Java. And that's all I do for my brows. Okay, let's start on the eyes. I have to do eyeliner before I do my mascara and I'm gonna open up a new eyeliner. I basically only use the NYX Epic Ink Liner in waterproof version. I don't know what it is, but this eyeliner is just so good. It stays on all day. I've probably gone through 10 or 15 of these, I think. I use it so much. Cool. It's a brush tip, which is like my favorite type of tip. Anyway, let's go in. It's gonna be really difficult for me to do my eyeliner on camera, but I'll try to explain it to you as best as I can. Basically, all I do, maybe I should like zoom in here. Yeah, I just draw a line out and then I connect it to like the outer half of my eye. Okay, eyeliner is done. Hopefully you understood what I meant, but this is my signature eyeliner that I do. And yeah. Okay, let's zoom out. That was stressful. Every time I do my eyeliner, I'm like holding my breath. But today's a good eyeliner day. I am actually so proud of myself for doing this correctly. I usually spend so long on my eyeliner because it takes me forever. They're never like super even, but you know what? It doesn't matter because... It doesn't need to be super even all the time. Now we're gonna go in with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Yogurt. This is also like super old. I got this so long ago. I literally just dab it right here and then I bring it into this first half of my eye. And then I also like to bring it a little bit on my eyelid. I'm gonna take my finger and blend her out. After that, I will go in with this Naked palette. I don't even know what this is. Naked Sin? I think yeah anyway i go in with this color here and dab right here dab right here adorable cool we are almost done guys last thing is curling my eyelashes and doing my mascara i use the shiseido eyelash curler it's so good i really recommend it if you have more of a flat eye next i go in with this idole mascara this is the waterproof version it's so good it keeps my eyelashes curled all day love it so much just looks so good <laughs> Okay, mascara is done. The last step for the eyes is the tight lining. I swear by tight lining. I think that it just ties the whole look together. I just don't feel complete without it. But I will go in with the About Face Line Artist Long Wear Gel Eyeliner. And I think this is just like the black color. Tight line underneath right here. And I feel like it just makes the eyeliner look so much better. I don't know if anyone can tell, but I can tell. And I think it's worth it. So that's what I do. Oh my god, I got it on my contact. That's great. Oh, do you guys see that? Oh, <gasps> this is what happens when I try to film and do makeup at the same time. Cool. Yay. I feel like tight lining just makes my eyes pop more. It makes it look more crispy, crispy, if you know what I mean. But yeah. And our last step, actually second to last step, is lip. I don't really put lip gloss or lipstick on usually. So I will go in with a tinted lip balm. This is just because my lips are so dry all the time. And so this helps keep it moisturized and it has a little bit of color. This is the Innisfree Dewy Tint Lip Balm in Love Beige. Okay, the last step is my setting spray. I don't really have a setting spray that I use all the time. Most of the time I just kind of use anything, but right now I've really been liking the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Veil Mist. It's not a setting spray, I think. I think it just like makes your skin hydrated. Anyway, I love how it mists. 
It just makes my face look nice and dewy. And let this dry. But yeah, that's pretty much my makeup. I do this makeup not every day, every day, but anytime that I do go out, this is the makeup that I do pretty much. And I've done this makeup for like three years now and it really has never really changed. I hope this helped. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I will answer all the questions in the comments. But yeah, hope you enjoyed my little makeup routine thing. I love you guys so much and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.